Jelly Bean X94. Um, today I'm going to do a DIY how to do the screw back spikes. The cone ones, they kind of look like this. I bought this shirt on sale, like I think it was like six or seven dollars at Body Central. And I mean, it already has like spikes right here, but I wanted to like spice it up a little and add like the cone spikes, like on the, the collar. And I was also doing these these pants, they're white. Um, I went on Urban Outfitters and I saw these really cute jeans, but they were like $95. And I was like, hey, I can make those. So again, I got these really cheap body central pants and I did like frayed it and kind of ripped it. If you want a tutorial, just comment or like below that you want it. But I did the, um, I guess you can say that like the pyramid spikes. The ones you stick in just bend, but um, these are what the pants look like on Urban Outfitters. But it's like two rows of spikes going down the middle or down the side. And I'm not finished, but if you want to see how to do these kind of spikes, you can just tell me that you do, and I'll do the other, show you the other side and film it. So keep watching, and I'll just show you how to do it. Okay, so here I already did the first part of it. Um, you can see right there. And only the thing that you really, or what I use, is you get your spikes that I ordered off of Amazon. I'll put the link down below for those. I think it was like, I want to say it was 4 or $6, so it's really not that much. And then a knife. Um, okay, so what I do is I grab one of my spikes, and I only did it like three rows because I didn't want to put too much. Um, but you take your spike, and... Okay. You kind of measure where you want it to be, okay, so, and what I did is I held it, where did my knife go, okay, and then I just kind of stuck the knife under it, so you're not really stabbing yourself, you're sticking up in the spike. And now, you grab one of your spikes, you stick it through, see, right there, and then I misplaced that spike, <laughs> but you grab it, and you just stick it there and you screw it and if you want to go back and screw it because it does have that edge you can it's totally up to you I didn't and that's what the first one will look like and then I'll show you one more time before I fast forward it oh there's a spike hiding okay so you're kind of going to measure it where you want it and you'll see it so you'll just flip it back And then you see, totally out of frame here, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll do it again since I'm out of frame. But you just keep doing that until you know where to stop on your knife. You take one of your screws, stick it forward through the hole you just made. And then you take your spike again, just screw it. Make sure you screw it tight because you don't want to wear it and like wash it in the wash machine and then they will fall off. So you do want to make sure you screw it tight. And then that's it. <laughs> on top of the shirt that I was wearing but this is the final product as you, as you can see let me just see so now you don't have to worry about if someone has the same shirt as you because you made it different but like I said if you want to learn how to do the pyramid spikes with the jeans just like or comment or if you have any other DIYs that you want me to do I can do them for you if you just comment below don't forget to subscribe love you guys <laughs>